Morning everyone, we're going to make some tortilla breads today and it's going to be for taco lunch. Eagles in the finals yet? Yeah. They are. Not the bulls. So we're just going to use general kitchen equipment, but a standard teaspoon. We're going to need salt and baking powder, so I'm going to use this general teaspoon. I'm going to use the kids Avengers cup. Okay, let's make a start. Okay, let's make a start. We're going to add two cups of flour in a stainless steel bowl. And we're going to add from there a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. And just mix it up with your hands at this stage. Actually, we're gonna use our hands for mixing this whole thing. Just getting the feel of pastry is very therapeutic. So we're gonna ha have 100 grams of butter in there. And we're going to rub our hands together, flour and butter, just like that. Mmm, feels good. Squeeze it in between your hands and add a little bit of warm water in there. You're going to have about half a cup in, of warm water all together, but just a little bit at a time. I'm going to transfer onto a bench and we're going to stretch and pull. Um, need a little bit of help in this one because it was taking a bit long so you're gonna need this for about 10 minutes don't worry it's gonna be worth it it's while Chiki's a great help Okay, now we're going to roll it into a big long cigar shape or baguette shape and then we're going to just portion it probably around about 80 grams per serve and then roll that into a little ball. So that's your portion each. I mean you can make it as big as as small as you want depending on all the fillings and what you want to put into it actually. So now we're going to get a piece of plastic sheets. Now you can use plastic bags or anything that's um, other than um, Glad Wrap because Glad Wrap's a bit too sticky. Um, and put your put it in between the two plastics, roll it with something heavy and flatten it out. Place it onto a pan, warm it up on one side until all the bubbles come up and then flip it over. And that pan's gonna be very, very hot. Now I've made some chicken that's got uh, some paprika in there, um, some coriander and cumin and also some tomatoes and I just rendered that down with a little bit of salt and pepper and <clears throat> shredded it. Add some salsa which is just tomato and onion and cilantro or coriander and a little bit of salt again. Then add some corn, just scoop out some corn and there it is, our taco. Which is just a chicken taco. I mean, you can do it with fish, beef, pork. Um, I mean, I do it with lamb, but it's not really tradition, I don't think. I'm sure everything is tradition, actually, because um, I've seen lots of different ones with offals and stuff. Miss Inji, always posing. As you know, I've always been looking after my two amazing boys. Um, they are my world. This is Duke and Jet when they were babies. I've grown them up since they were, you know, not even one years old. And they grew up in a surf shop, in a kite surf shop with me. Um, I often have to change their nappies while I'm talking to customers and they'd be just rolling around in their little red cars and the skateboards in the shops, um, all over the shop. And it was just fine. It was fantastic. They were so great with me. Um, sometimes they'd just fall asleep and that would be gold and you know we'd just be watching movies and I'll be doing computer work all day long and talking to customers. 
Then we take him out, take him out to uh, Lanslin, uh, get out on the jet skis, um, and Dad goes kite surfing while he gets looked after by some of his mates. Uh, go to the zoo, and always a good fun time in the garden with Ingie. Thanks for watching, everyone.